ஹாய் மைசூர் டாக்டர் அப்பாஸ் வட்டோலி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அமல் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் அட்வான்ஸ் ஸ்டடீஸ் நிலம்பு டுடே வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஜெனரல் இன்சூரன்ஸ் பாலிசிஸ் இன்சூரன்ஸ் இஸ் அ கான்ட்ராக்ட் ஆஃப் இன்டெம்னிட்டி பிட்வீன் த இன்சூரர் அண்ட் த இன்சூர் இன்சூரன்ஸ் கேன் பி ப்ராட்லி டிவைடட் இன் டு டூ லைஃப் இன்சூரன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஜெனரல் இன்சூரன்ஸ் லைஃப் இன்சூரன்சஸ் கவர்ஸ் த ரிஸ்க் ஆஃப் ஹியூமன் லைஃப் அண்ட் ஆல் இன்சூரன்சஸ் அதர் தேன் லைஃப் இன்சூரன்ஸ் ஆர் கால்டு ஜெனரல் இன்சூரன்ஸ் ஜெனரல் இன்சூரன்ஸ் கேன் அகெயின் பி டிவைடட் இன் டு த்ரீ ஃபயர் இன்சூரன்ஸ் மரைன் இன்சூரன்ஸ் அண்ட் மிஸ்லைனஸ் இன்சூரன்ஸ் ஃபயர் இன்சூரன்ஸ் இன்டெம்னிஃபை த லாஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி அண்ட் குட்ஸ் டியூ டு அன்இன்டென்ஷனல் ஃபயர் மரைன் இன்சூரன்ஸ் இன்டெம்னிஃபை த லாஸ் ஆஃப் ஷிப் கார்கோ ஃப்ரைட் எக்ஸெட்ரா டியூ டு மரைன் ஆக்சிடென்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் அதர் ஜெனரல் இன்சூரன்ஸ் கேன் பி குரூப்ட் அண்டர் மிஸ்லைனியஸ் இன்சூரன்ஸ் based on the terms and conditions of the fire insurance contract fire policies can be of different types first valued policy under this value of the property is ascertained and agreed between the parties at the time of entering into the contract and in case of loss this agreed amount will be given as compensation without considering the actual loss second is specific policy this is the most common type of fire insurance policy under this insurance coverage will be given for a specific amount in case of loss the insurance company will give compensation of actual loss up to the specified limit next is average policy under this the average clause will be applicable if your property is under insured that means the value of insurance is less than the value of the property the insurance company will admit claims proportionately i will give you an example you have a property worth rupees 1 lakh and you insured that property for rupees 50000 and if you incur a loss of 10000 with respect to that property and you approach your insurance company for reimbursement then the insurance company will admit claims only for rupees 5000 because of the average clause next is comprehensive policy this types of insurance policy covers risk such as fire flood theft etc under one policy and one premium next is floating policy generally the rate of insurance varies according to the type of goods location etc but under floating policy several goods lying at different locations are covered under single policy and a single premium next is excess policy with the level of stock fluctuate widely over a period of time the company can take two policy at a time a first loss policy for the minimum level of stock and an excess policy for the maximum level of stock the next one is blanket policy blanket policy covers both fixed as well as current asset under a single policy and a single premium next is consequential loss policy this policy covers the loss of potential profit due to interruptions in the business due to fire next we can discuss about different type of marine insurance policies broadly there are three type first is cargo insurance it covers the risk to the cargo on the ship due to accident second is hull insurance it covers the risk to the ship itself third is freight insurance it covers the risk of loss of the freight in based on the terms and conditions marine policies can have different variation one is time policy time policy covers the risk for a specified period of time say a year generally hull insurance is issued as time policy next is voyage policy it covers risk from one place to another that is a voyage generally cargo insurance are issued as voyage policies next is mixed policy it covers a particular voyage for a specified period of time we can say it is a mix of voyage policy and a time policy another is fleet insurance it covers the whole fleet of the ship and the last one is port insurance which covers the ship while it is docked at the port or harbor next we can discuss about miscellaneous insurances the first one is motor vehicle insurance it covers two type of risk first the risk of damage to the vehicle due to accident the second risk of injury or death to the passenger the second one is a fidelity insurance it protect an employer against the fraud on the part of his employees and his consequential risk another is credit insurance it protect against the loss caused by bad debt 
due to insolvency of the customers. Next is burglar insurance. It indemnifies against the laws due to theft or burglary. Next is loss of profit policy. As discussed earlier, this policy covers the risk of loss of potential profit due to interruptions due to fire. Next is workmen's compensation insurance. It covers the liability on account of compensation to workers suffering from injury or death at workplace due to any accidents. And last one is professional liability insurance. It protects the professionals like doctors, lawyers, etc. against the liability towards clients, including the legal charges. Thank you for watching.